In the Lesson 7.3 example, How Many Red Beads, we'll review how to check the conditions for a confidence interval for a population proportion. When Dr. Godlewski's class did the beads activity in this lesson, they got 107 red beads and 144 other beads. Their point estimate for the proportion of red beads in the container is p hat equals 107 out of the total 251, or 0.426. Check if the conditions for calculating a confidence interval for the population proportion, P, are met. In this lesson, we learn that to check the conditions for constructing a confidence interval for P, we need to look for two things. First, we want to make sure that the data come from a random sample from the population of interest. We call that the random condition. Next, we want to make sure that both n times P hat and n1 minus P hat are at least 10. This is the large counts condition. So in this example, we can see that, first of all, the class selected a random sample of beads uh, out of the container, so indeed the random sample condition is met. And then we need to check the large counts by utilizing uh, the p hat value, 107 over 251, and 1 minus p hat, uh, along with the sample size of 251. So 251 times 107 out of 251 equals 107, and that's greater than 10. 251 times 1 minus that p hat value is 144, and that's also greater than or equal to 10. So we see that the large counts condition is met. Now if you look, you'll notice we have 107 for this particular calculation and 144 for this calculation. Note that's the same as the number of successes and the number of failures in this example. And that will actually occur any time you're checking this condition. np hat will always be the number of successes, and n1 minus p hat will always be the number of failures. So that's another way to look to see whether or not this condition is met. For some additional practice checking conditions for a confidence interval for p, try exercise 1.